Hey guys, welcome to Game Jammin'. Today we are here all to talk about supports. What we're going to look at is the statistics that supports have and see what statistics seem to imply uh, supports doing good and getting high SR ranks versus the, st the statistics that don't matter as much. Um, today I decided to do things in a graphical form, so hopefully it's a little bit easier for you guys to see uh, the numbers and what I'm talking about. And I'm also sorting things, so let's see how it goes. First up, we've got healing. So I've listed them in order of the biggest healing to the least. And anytime somebody, a Mercy comes through and, and plays, no, she has the best healing per game. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about the statistics I'm using. I'm specifically pulling people with a high SR rank, so diamond or greater rank, and I'm averaging that amongst a bunch of samples. Uh, so on the course of this one, we had a thousand players data. Um, what you'll notice here again is that the healing for Mercy definitely uh, is higher than Anna and Lucio. Anna and Lucio and Zenyatta are kind of tier 2, but in that order. And then Symmetra, of course, has no healing. Uh, it's interesting to note that she does. Symmetra does have a shield, but it didn't seem to have a big impact on the SR rating. So yes, there is a shield, but I don't know its impact in the game. Next up, we've got damage output. So Zenyatta actually beats out Symmetra. What was kind of interesting was that if you went to lower ranks, Symmetra will beat out Zenyatta because Symmetra's damage is easier to apply, and Zenyatta's is harder because it's a projectile. Uh, but then you, going down the list, you have Zenyatta, Symmetra, Lucio, Anna, and of course Mercy. Now, what's interesting about Mercy is she does have a damage amplification ability, but you'll notice that in reality, it doesn't add all that much extra damage. Now, I'm not saying the damage isn't important, it's just not a significant damage contribution. However, it can sometimes uh, add up to assist when she's assisting Farah or other big damage heroes like that. Um, but you'll notice here you kind of got the tier 1s are Zenyatta Symmetra, then tier 2 is Lucio, Anna, and, and yet yeah, Mercy, she doesn't deal damage. Up next, we've got Eliminations. Now, this craft has more uh, elements to it, so let me describe what I've got here. Uh, the biggest bar that you see here, the, the light blue, is Eliminations per minute. Symmetra and Zenyatta uh, are at the top. Symmetra is the top performer in that category. And then what I've included is some other factors you might find interesting. So I'd encourage you guys to pause it right now if you want to get to really dive into this more, but I'll try to talk through some of the interesting points here. Uh, as far as final blows, it actually follows the same as the eliminations per minute, where Symmetra has the highest final blows per minute, followed by Zenyatta. And then Lucio and Anna are just kind of close in that, that category. Uh, revives per minute is probably the most interesting category, because that's the only thing Mercy can really place in. Uh, 0.7 revives per minute is actually not that bad at all, if you think about it. Um, it's, it's high enough that it almost matches the final blows per minute of a Symmetra. Uh, so there's the stats there. The solo kills are obviously inconse un inconsequential, so you wouldn't really worry about that. Uh, up next is these are all measurements of time. So this is seconds per minute of objective time, up uh, teleporter up time, and fire time. Uh, what was interesting here is what I wanted to know is whether fire time actually meant anything to characters. And what you notice here is that the fire time for Anna and Mercy are very, very high. What I think is happening is whenever uh, they're able to activate an ult, they build up charge very, very quickly. However, Lucio, Symmetra, and Zenyatta get no fire going, and it seems very, very difficult for them to build up any sort of charge. Um, there is, however, the teleporter uptime. I just concluded that as a metric. I don't think it really contributes here, but uh, it's there for you guys to see about 8 seconds per minute. Is the, is the general uptime. The last part here is objective time. Now you'll notice here that Lucio is definitely the master of objective time. However, looking in the statistics in the background, I noticed that objective time was actually almost always the number one negative correlation. It seems that higher ranks, the more time you spend on the objective, the worse it is for you. I need to do more research to figure out whether this is just a support statistic or if this applies to all characters. I'm thinking that the meta may be a little bit different at higher levels, so I'm going to see what I can do to get more information on that. Up next we got deaths. This was just a measurement of how squishy the supports are. 
And this, again, I felt like it, it lined up with what I expected, with maybe the difference of Zenyatta. I didn't think it would be this good. Um, Mercy and Lucio. Uh, Mercy especially, now with the new buff, um, where she is invulnerable while reviving, is survives the longest, getting close to two minutes. Uh, minute 45 seconds or so. Uh, Lucio is down a little bit lower, as you'd expect. And then Zenyatta, uh, Anna, and then Symmetra is actually pretty squishy. I think the problem with Symmetra ends up being is that in order to, to secure kills, you got to get pretty close to uh, to the, the, the character you're fighting because you're obviously not going to get... You're not likely to land very many kills from a distance. Uh, the last category I've got here is assists. So I've got a, di a bunch of different assist types uh, labeled here. And what you'll notice here is the master of assist is Zenyatta. Now I got to do a little bit more research on exactly how uh, what conditions apply in assist. But what's really important here is that on most of the support heroes, when I was doing correlation testing, which correlation just says what stats seem to matter to a high level SR, uh, high level um, standard, what is it called, standard rank SR? I don't know. It will, high rank. If you want to have a high rank. You know what stats are important. Assists seem to be uh, a priority for most of the support heroes. You'll notice that uh, Zenyatta's on the top here. Then you got Anna and Mercy, uh, and then Lucio is a little bit toward the bottom. Now Symmetra doesn't have a way of uh, registering an assist. I would argue that that's kind of a missing measurement because if she's supposed to be a support, there should be a way for her to rack up an assist. And I would argue that the shield generator should somehow give assists. I don't know how that would work. We'd have to, you know, go into details of that. But uh, that's something that I think is kind of missing if Symmetra is a support hero, which, again, and some of you might be in the art, the comments below and be like, wait, no, she's not a support hero, she's a defense hero. Okay, well maybe she's a defense hero, I'm not so sure. Uh, just That's where she's categorized right now. So let's talk about correlations, and up first we've got Anna. So the top three correlations for Anna are assists, nano boost, and healing. Assists are very important, that means you're supporting the team, uh, but nano boost is kind of what makes a good Anna player. Uh, if basically the nano boosts actually do contribute to the assist count because there are nano boost assists. On top of that, obviously having good healing is important to her, not dealing damage. Uh, on the flip side, the the one category that's a pretty big negative correlation is objective time. Anna sh should be sitting from a distance, and I think that reflects what would uh, make a lot of sense. Up next, we got Lucio. The top three categories for him are assists, eliminations, and death. Uh, so essentially the same the same as Anna here, getting assists is very important to the team. Also helping to land eliminations means that uh, Lucio is doing, uh, doing a good job of dealing damage to a lot of different players. And staying alive, of course, is very important. On the flip side, uh, self-healing, objective time, and regular healing. Now this is one of the weird categories. Uh, Lucio, at higher level ranks, spends less time healing. It may seem counterintuitive because you would think healing is always most important, but the problem is there are literally no statistics that describe how much time someone is spending on speed boost. So that is just a gap in the statistics right now, and we literally have no way of tracking it. And, and right now it makes it appear that higher level Lucio players are worse when in fact they're just spending more time on the speed boost. Up next, let's talk about Mercy. The top categories for her are Revives, Assist, and Fire Time. Uh, revives are very, very important to Mercies, and higher level Mercy players are doing a better job of landing more Revives and surviving long enough to get the Revives to happen. Uh, the fire Time is heavily rewarded by Revives, so if she gets a good Revive off, yeah, her Fire Time is going to increase. Uh, the negative correlations here are, are objective time and self-healing. They both suggest that higher level players are staying off the point and hiding while the fight's happening and then coming in for the, for the big res. Uh, up next we got Symmetra. Now Symmetra is a little bit of an oddball here. The problem is that technically damage is the positive correlation, but it's not very strongly a positive correlation. It doesn't the damage doesn't ramp that much, and there are a lot of negative correlations with being a higher level symmetric player. And I think the problem is, is that higher level players uh, have an easier time dealing with a symmetra than uh, the rest of us do at lower levels. So uh, negative correlations here are fire time, solo kills, and final blows, and I think it just means that higher level players are dodging symmetra better. 
And finally, the last player here is Zenyatta. So the top categories for him are Transcendence, Assist, and Healing. Uh, this kind of makes a lot of sense because Transcendence is such a powerful ult, uh, similar to the Res. Uh, assists are obviously very important. He can throw his orbs around to help out his teammates. Uh, the negative correlations, uh, again, they kind of tie off to what you're seeing in the supports here. Objective kills and objective time are not as important because the Zenyatta is squishy and should not be on the objective very much. It doesn't mean that they're never on the objective. It just means they're on the objective less uh, and letting their teammates uh, get the objective when they can. So that's it for all the statistics. Uh, there is a lot of information uh, that can still be gleaned from the data set that I have. So ask... Ask away with your questions and I will do my best to answer them. Um, and as I build up the database right now, it's only going to have the support heroes. But as I get the rest of the heroes set up, and I'm now set up to catch all the heroes, I will add them to make one big Excel sheet that we can all look at and enjoy and have fun with for, for all the nerds like me. So anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! We'll